In this video we are going to learn about one of the most important commands in Linux which is the grep command. Grep stands for global search for regular expressions and print matching lines. It is available in most Linux and Unix operating systems and it is a very powerful tool. For the any delays let's jump right into the practical applications of the grep command. First let us take a look at a file which we have data1.txt we see that it contains seven lines my name is Shubham Pal I'm a software engineer I like Linux grep command is awesome cat command is okay I use Mac operating system I like internet now let us try to find the word Linux in this data1.txt we just have to type grep and then the name of the string that we are trying to find and then the name of the file which is data1.txt we see that it prints the line which contains the word linux it is the third line now let us if we use hyphen n as an option it will also print the line number of the line on which the word is present we see that it has printed here three that is the linux word exists in the third line of the file also want to print a few lines before the line in which our text is present in that case we can use hyphen b option the command would be grep hyphen b the number of lines that we want to print before that line and then uh, hyphen n to print the line numbers and then the name of the string and then the name of the file here we see that the two lines before our target line are also printed in a similar way we can print the lines after that as well for that we will use option a let us suppose we want to print three lines after that line and then the same linux and then data is one dot txt here we see that the three lines after that line have also been printed similarly we can use option c to print the number of lines before and after at the same time we will write grep option c let us suppose number of lines is 2 and then the name of the file here we see that two lines before our target line and two lines after our target line have been printed what if we do not know the name of the file in which our string is present and we want to find the same thing in that case also greps comes in very handy First of all, let's see what all files are present in the current directory. We have two files, data1.txt and data2.txt. We will check the content of data1.txt and we see that we have a string named Linux in this. Now let us try to search this particular string in the all the files in this current directory. For that, we will use the grep command and then we will write the name of the string and then we will write the name of the directory which is basically all the files at the current directory and here we see that it shows that in data1.txt this is present similarly we can also print the line number by specifying hyphen n here we see that it is present in data1.txt at line number 3 and this is the line in which our string linux is present what if we want to search the string in the subdirectories and all the files in the subdirectories in a directory in that case also we can use hyphen r command to search recursively for example at present let us check the name of the directory we are in the test directory and the contents in this directory are these two files data1.txt and data2.txt let us go back a step behind and now we are on the parent of the the test directory in that uh, let us search grep and then the name of the string that we are going to search and we also have to mention hyphen r the recursive search command and then we will use the current directory name and then we can mention the star and then we can type 
option N as well. So here we see that it shows that our file is present in data1.txt at line number 3. Uh, so it does a recursive search in all the subdirectories and files which are present in the test directory. Inside our current directory, we have two files data1.txt and data2.txt. Let us take a look at both of them. This is data1.txt and then we also have data2.txt. So we see that the word internet is present in both the files. Now let us try to use the recursive search command to find the word internet. We will first go back to the parent directory and then we will search uh, the grep command and then the recursive option and then for the line number and then the name of the string and then test directory. Now here we see that it prints that internet word is present in both the files in the data1.txt it is present in the last line that is the seventh line and in data2.txt it is present in third line if you like watching this video do click on the like and the subscribe button thank you